rare Japanese pokey post. Let's go. Gotta catch them all Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. Oh my goodness, I am, you have no idea how hyped I am. We've got a Japanese intro pack. Um, the just the, the vintage Japanese intro packs. So this this is a very rare Japanese um, product, which contains contains a video set for all the way back from like 1998, 1999. I want to say this this thing released in. Um, there's some rare Japanese cards, including like some of the Pokemon in their original form. Still got the classic look Jinx, <laughs> which has been obviously been corrected since then to become Purple Jinx. Um, just beautiful artwork. I can't wait to show you this. This will be coming up in a moment, obviously. We love to open some amazing things on PokePost, and this is probably one of the greatest things so far. We've also got these um, cards I received in the mail recently, and at the end of the video, we're also going to open two more packs of Pokemon Go, because we just opened the Radiant EV collection, and it was one of the most stacked boxes we've ever had on this channel please go and check that out and you can see it's still got the radiant ev play mats but um before we get into the star of the show um i wanted to show you some of the stuff i received in the mail so i've been away a lot the past couple of weeks i haven't been buying as much but this um but when i got back there's a whole bunch of mail and i had to open it straight away because it was just causing too much chaos i had to I had to sort the mail out straight away so just some random stuff that i this a lot of these things i purchased like two or three weeks ago now and they're just Kind of just had a chance to show some of them off. Um, mostly playable cards. I got the beautiful Starmy um, V character super rare featuring Misty. Very popular card. Um, surprisingly, actually more expensive than the United States. Most cards um, in the United States are normally cheaper because they print a lot more. Um, just some like regular Vs and stuff. Normally, cards in the United States are a lot cheaper because um, they. You know they print them there, and it, we have to ship them. We have to import them here in the United Kingdom and Europe, and so it's a lot more expensive. But um, yeah, the, the Star Me is quite pricey. Got the beautiful alternate art Hiswayan Lilligan V there, um, alt art of all the, all the little bonus Pokemon in the trees and stuff. Beautiful card, nice Dialga I needed for my decks. Uh, just more playable things, more Palkias. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure why I got so many Palkia, Palkia Vs and V Stars. Um, I think I just needed more at the time for my friend. I don't know, but we also, there's also another beautiful Starmy V to, to finish off the mail. But um, yeah, it's not about um, those. This video, the star of the video, has to be this intro deck. So this was given. This was probably quite readily available at the time. This now retails, resales for over like six hundred dollars, five hundred pounds. I think I paid around six hundred dollars for this in Yahoo in Japan, but um, if you want to find out how to buy stuff directly from Japan, please click link in the description, head to my Patreon, and check out my Japanese buying guide video. Very comprehensive guide video there. Learns how to, teaches you how to buy stuff directly from Japan and all, all the good all the good stuff. But yeah, I got this from uh, Japan, and I just love the classic kind of like Ken Sugimori artwork on, on the tape there. Um, and yeah, you can actually see the videotape here. I, I feel kind of guilty opening this, but I really want to show you guys those um, exclusive um, art cards. There's some art, there's some Pokemon cards inside that actually have exclusive artwork to this deck um, that weren't released anywhere else. So here we go. I'm it feels like a bit of history is kind of going when I do this, but I, I want to show you. You got lovely people, the cards, and all of the other stuff. So I believe this segment here will be the cards. And then obviously we've got the video in here. So this is like, okay, I get to keep this part at least. Look at this, just Japanese Pokemon videotape. So according to the Bulbapedia article, um, this was the only time, um, what is it? The only time, the only TCG product to actually include a videotape, an actual tape that you put into a video cassette <laughs> Look at this thing. It's been so long since I've even held one of these one of these things in my hands. This is absolutely crazy. So this had like a little video guide of how to um, how to play the the you know the the Pokemon trading card game. So this was the only uh, apparently the only time they've released a videotape in Japan or English. Um, how to play the Pokemon trading card game. They've done like CD-ROMs and DVDs, obviously, since and before, but never a never an actual video. So that's really cool, like a beautiful like video there. But it's not about the video. That's just a little bonus. It's all about what's inside this box. Two. There should be two half decks now. Just look at the presentation. Look at all of the like the, the symbols and the silhouettes of the Gen One Pokemon, like on the on there. That is so beautiful. 
Um, so we've got a little guidebook here. Um, no idea what this is for. If anyone can read Japanese, please let me know. Um, you know, is this kind of like an advertisement? Are we supposed to send away and get a prize? I don't know. The 90s was a very crazy time. Answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> um, again, beautiful artwork on the guidebook. Ah, oh, just, just look at that. Just, just, just look, look at that artwork. Um, try and like, so you can see it. So it's got a list of all of the cards in the deck. Um, it probably just shows you how, again, how to play the game, the trainers, and all of, all of that good stuff. Um, beautiful beautiful little guidebook there in the deck lists and the Brock and Misty um, decks that you could get at the time as well that were really good. Um, so this is the play mat. So this is really cool. I would love to get this like rubberized at some point. If someone knows someone that can maybe transfer this to a, to a rubber sheet, that would be amazing. Like, like one of the rubber play mats. Can't, it doesn't really fit on the camera, but um, you can see it's like a, a cool like double-sided play mat there. Um, that is that's really cool. So you can just get it out straight out of the box and have a battle with your with your friends. Um, we've got the cool uh, like ten damage damage counters that were sort of representing like ten damage each at the time. The original OG Chansey coin in Japanese, the Japanese char and it was also the same coin that we got in English as well, which is really cool. But this is the smaller sort of like Japanese style coin. Obviously now we've had the bigger coins. Like imagine like going from this to this in like 20 years the, the more re recently the co coins have been bigger than the Chansey but smaller than the the Mew from the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box oh man the two decks are right here as well anything else to show before we got those just so instead of poison and burn counters they just got poison and poison maybe this is an error maybe they only had poison back then I'm pretty sure we had burn in the original trading card game please leave a comment below but yes yeah, so we're gonna very carefully take the the plastic off these and show you these beautiful cards. Oh my goodness. I am just in awe right now. So again, ex a lot of these have exclusive original artwork. Um, only to these decks. I don't know all of them off the top of my head. But I'm pretty sure this Bulbasaur was never seen anywhere else. Obviously that's the base set Drowsy. Look at that Raichu. Oh my. So this is definitely the Bulbasaur deck. You can see also they're also exclusive each one because they have like a little number on them so if you're a collector of certain pokemon you'd want the um you know the number of the numbered ones as well but look at that look at that raichu look at that artwork you barber that is you can tell that's a barber card oh my goodness i am in my happy place right now that is beautiful beautiful artwork again i believe this one is is probably like a japanese a japanese exclusive so we're going to very carefully take those out and you can see even the energy cards have the have the numbers on them, potion, scoop up net, um, beautiful Pikachu. So there'll be collectors even for this one, even though it's like a reprint of the base set artwork because it's got the Bulbasaur logo and it's got the number 13. I might even keep this in my collection. I'm, I'm probably going to get a bunch of these cards graded and you know the ones that don't come back as 10s, I might keep some of them in my personal collection because um, it'll be silly to keep the 10s because I can you know buy more cool things like this, like this stupid cassette, this tape and stuff like... Oh my goodness, oh, look at that Meowth. I swear again, I have not seen the artwork on this Meowth before. A lot of this video is just going to be me cooing over just beautiful Japanese artwork. Like, that is that. I'm pretty sure that's the vending series Bulbasaur artwork. But again, it's unique because it's got the Bulbasaur half deck symbol and the numbering on it. Just look at that. Kazuki. Look at that beautiful artwork. Have you ever seen a Bulbasaur just look more beautiful than that? I haven't. Um, please leave a comment below if you've seen a more beautiful Bulbasaur. The Snap Bulbasaur is also really nice, but that costs a lot more money than, than this one. So we've got a nice Bill's, Bill's Teleporter or something. Beautiful Venusaur to go with our Bulbasaur. Obviously the Bulbasaur is much nicer artwork, but you know, a beautiful Venus, I'm pretty sure that's unique artwork as well. And the print quality of these, even though they've been sitting in that box for like, 23 years now they've been sitting in that box for 23 years the quality on these cars is actually still really good i'm very happy of these oh man that electabuzz that electabuzz that's just that's just so beautiful so we want to get to the big one another bulbasaur very nice but again they got different numbers on them so if you're a bulbasaur collector you like you're trying to get every single bulbasaur card you want to get the probably the two, the ones with the two different numbers on them that's so funny Reprint of the Dodua from base set. Another beautiful Venus Ivysaur. Um, another of the Bulbasaur. So you get two. I think you get like three or two Bulbasaurs, two Ivysaurs, and there's the Jinx. There's the the black face Jinx. Um, before they changed it for Western audiences. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> crazy artwork on that jinx that is just crazy artwork again i don't think that this this art was released in english even with the purple face on the jinx um and then oh, look at this coughing look at it look at it <laughs> oh my goodness i am just so happy right now guys you have no idea how happy i am well yeah, you can probably see how happy i am oh wow and it's the original like league promo slash promo pikachu except for without the hollow or the it's got like a forest background i can't i don't remember seeing this one that's so cool and the coup de gras obviously da -da 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 -da. each one comes with a hollow so you got the because these are supposed to mirror the original video games so you got um the green the bulbasaur half deck and the blastoise half deck it would probably be a lot more expensive if it was a charizard half deck so that's probably a good thing that it's not but uh it's a shame this promo is a little bit off centered so it's definitely not going to get a psa 10 but it's just beautiful this is like the original japanese artwork for pokemon green as well beautiful card i love this so much and this one actually does not have the number on it it just has the number the number three of the pokedex on it oh wow that's really cool. I'm going to give this one a sleeve. I'll sleeve up the rest of the others later because I'm going to get a lot of them graded at some point. Um, if you want to find out how to grade your own cards directly with PSA, click the link below and check out my Patreon. I've got comprehensive video. So that's the Venusaur deck. So now we're going to check out the, Bul the Bulbasaur? That's, that's the Bulbasaur deck. Now we're going to check out the Squirtle deck. And straight away, you can, look, you can see, even see the silhouettes of, of Squirtle and... Um, Bulbasaur and there. That is such a cool little product. Imagine being a kid in Japan, being 10 years old and getting that for your birthday or for Christmas or whatever. You would be so happy. You'd watch the video, you'd learn how to play Pokemon, you get all these awesome cards. Oh my goodness, you would be so incredibly happy if you got that as a kid. Right, let's very carefully try and slide this off without damaging the cards. Okay, oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. I'm going to put the v Blastoise down here just so I don't accidentally... Um, damage it whilst we're showing you these guys so um so you can see there you got the squirtle symbol for the for the half deck there Num and then let's see if we can see some more exclusive artwork straight away there's the war turtle oh my goodness just look at that who is this another kazuki very cool style art style there from kazuki beautiful card oh man so yeah a lot of these are going to get graded i'm probably not going to grade the energy cards or the trainers but um, if anybody's um, a collector and is interested in any of the energies or trainer cards raw, um, please, you know, send me a message. Um, so we get two of the beautiful war turtles. Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at this Spiro. I've never seen this artwork before. I've never seen this artwork before. Holy macaroni. Look at that Spiro. And it's got, obviously, the numbering there. Number 13. That's so crazy. Yoshida. Oh, my goodness. It's got a weird, like, print line down the middle, unfortunately, but it's still really cool. Um, and again, like, the, the Jigglypuff from Jungle, but with the Squirtle logo on it. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. Kazuki, why do you do these things to me? <laughs> Let's have it next to the um, the Wartortle, because these actually match the styles together really well. Oh my goodness, look at these. So it's like he's doing his headbutt as a Squirtle, and I don't know what he's doing in the second one. But that is just that is just beautiful artwork. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. But I I'm Squirtle's like one of my top five favourites. Um always happy to see beautiful Squirtle cards that I've never seen before. What the earth is this? Amino? <laughs> it, this is a slightly more understated and subtle than uh, than this one. <laughs> You can tell they're different artists. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not sure which one I like better. Probably the um, Kazuki, the crazy one, but that is so nice. I, again, I think unique artwork. Or so, I think some of these were in the vending series as well, but these will be unique to these decks um, for the most part because they have the, the numbering and the logo. Um, so cool. Uh, so yeah, um, Pokemon intro pack. Um, very cool product. Let's see if we can see any... Look at the Growlithe. Look at the good boy. He's such a good boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Okay, let's see what we can let's see if we can see any other unique cards. The Arcanine! What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. Never seen this before. That's definitely not in the vending series. I was already remembered it. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful dog, eh? If you're an Arcanine or a Growlithe collector, you definitely need those cards in your collection. Holy macaroni. Another Squirtle. 
Another beautiful square. So you get two of those cool square tools. One of these magmars. I've never seen this magmar before. I've never seen that magmar. That is crazy art. I love that. And then a, another one of the Humino Squirtles. Absolutely beautiful. And then, thankfully, the Blastoise is much better centered than the um, than the Venusaur we had earlier. So, uh, oh, there might even be a little swell like right at the bottom there. Kind of like a little swell. Again, so you, this artwork's the same as the CD promo. So then they, I think they're like a year later, they did like a CD promotion. That's where that Charizard CD promo artwork comes from, the um, Sugimori one. Um, look at that. I love how there's like red inside Blastoise's cannon. I've never seen that before. That is gorgeous. I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, yes. Okay. It's slightly OC, but it's a lot better centering and, um, I think it's in better condition than the, um, than the Venusaur. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous card. So happy with these decks. Some of these, even the, like the non hollows even some of these non hollow cards like the Squirtles and the, um, the Bulbasaurs, even some of them graded as nines, like still like close to $100 each. So lots of these cards are going to be really nice things to grade for me to grade. I'm going to keep some of my collection. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Very happy with the intro pack. What an amazing box. Why can't, why, why can't we have nice things like these nowadays? But that's fine. Um, we're going to finish off with the Pokemon Go booster packs. Please leave a comment below. Um, what is your favourite like thing from like the late 90s or the early 2000s in terms of like vintage Pokemon products or sealed products or did you have like did you ever open any Japanese booster packs back in the day? Um, I really want to get some of those vending series cards so we can peel them off as well so we, so we can show you guys like how the vending series used to work like the old Japanese vending series try and find some some more cool artwork oh my goodness I'm still nerd gap even though I love the modern art and like, like the modern art styles and some of these cards that apom is bloody gorgeous like I you can't beat classic. OG Japanese artwork and sometimes like maybe you can sometimes <laughs> what's going on we opened the Radiant Eevee box and we pulled them like two big chase cards back to back and now we opened two random packs and we pulled another alt art what is going on please remember to check out the video um, released yesterday if you haven't already and check out the Radiant Eevee box opening oh my goodness Right, let's see. Let's, let's say good last pack magic. We just got another bloody, we just got another old art from one of our Pokemon Go packs. So I'll be happy with literally anything inside this. Um, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the intro deck, um, of our Poke Post, of these you know extra packs. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Um, it really does help. I love reading your comments. Um, we've got another E, another Q Eevee, and Numel Numel. A reverse Pokey stop. That's good. I need those for the, my decks and a Glycopod Hollow. Oh my goodness! It, it's it's not about those. Not that about that beautiful Conkadol V Altar. It's all about the intro deck um, cards, the Hollows, and the you know the crazy artworks on some of these cards. Like I think the personal highlight for me has to be like this Coffin, um, the Squirt, the crazy Squirtle, um, and those and those CD promo Hollows. They're just some absolute fire here. Very happy with these. And I was very happy I purchased them. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. And I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the PlayScape Games Patreon and I'll see you very soon Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them.